This morning, emergency teams started moving the smashed carriages away from the railway tracks. Some had rolled over several times in the high-speed crash late on Wednesday evening. Rescue workers are still searching the other carriages and have been removing more bodies. The death toll already making this the worst train accident in Spain for more than 40 years. Jacobo Rodriguez, who lives nearby, says local people were really frightened. They didn't know if it was some kind of attack, he says. It's shocking. The Prime Minister, Mariano Rajoy, came to visit the site today. He was born in this region. He did not make any statement, but ceremonies for an annual religious festival nearby have been cancelled. This was the scene just after the train had come off the rails on a bend near the regional capital of Galicia. Some locals talked of hearing an explosion, but government officials have been quoted as saying it was not a terrorist attack. Instead, the focus is now on how fast the train was travelling at the time, on what is a section of high-speed rail track. Throughout the night, bodies arrived at the local morgue, and it's possible the number of dead will increase. The families of the missing waited anxiously for news. For some, it was what they'd most feared. This woman said she'd lost her niece. We're as broken as you could imagine, she said. For those now grieving, understanding what caused this accident will be extremely important. Richard Galpin, BBC News.